Good morning, everybody. Not such a good morning for the families of the five people that were on board the Titan that went down to see the wreckage of the Titanic. I agree with several people that said, leave the Titanic alone. It is a sacred graveyard, really, and just doesn't need to be messed with anymore. Well, follow up to yesterday's show, they found the wreckage. They're not going to be finding the bodies because it imploded. They said this probably happened in milliseconds. I don't know what a millisecond is, but that's what they said, and it gave me chills. I know a lot of people are asking who's going to pay for all this. Well, the taxpayers, just like everything, just like when people get drunk on a boat and get lost at sea and the Coast Guard has to go get them. We pay for that. Just like when people leave their stove on and they burn down their house and the fire department has to go and put out the fire. Our tax dollars pay for that. We have to pay for this. Um, people have been asking about lawsuits. Oh yeah, there's gonna be lawsuits. I understand that they all signed waivers and you know, saying that this is very risky, but that's what lawyers are for. Contracts were made to be broken. That's one of the favorite things for lawyers to say, and they will tear that contract up. They will be suing. That's going to happen. In the meantime, this is just horrible. God, it gives me anxiety even thinking about it. Look at this with me. Tell me what you think. Leave me a comment. with experts from within the unified command the debris is consistent with the catastrophic loss of the pressure chamber breaking news in just the last hour the coast guard has revealed the missing titanic tourist submarine suffered a catastrophic implosion there are no survivors good afternoon thank you so much for joining us today on fox 5 news at four I'm Tom Haynes and for Christine Spiro. The Coast Guard says the submersible imploded near the wreckage of the Titanic where it was headed. Fox 5 News anchor Russ Spencer joins us now with details on this late breaking story. Russ. Well, Tom, Coast Guard officials say they found a field of debris on the seafloor that is consistent with what they call a catastrophic implosion. They say that debris field is about 1,600 feet from the bow of the Titanic. Coast Guard officials noted that due to the complexity of the situation, it's too early to tell what could have caused the implosion or exactly when it happened. And they can't say when or if the bodies of the five people on board the submersible might be recovered. Coast Guard Rear Admiral John Mogger spoke this afternoon about what they know so far, and he extended his deepest sympathies to the families of the lost. On behalf of the United States Coast Guard, and the entire Unified Command, I offer my deepest condolences to the families. I can only imagine what this has been like for them. And I hope that this discovery provides some solace during this difficult time. The submersible was reported missing on Sunday, eight hours after it lost contact with its surface ship. Friends of and, fe uh, and fellow explorers say that if there is any consolation, is that the passengers didn't suffer, apparently. The implosion happened in an instant. The remote-operated vehicle that made the discovery will stay at the bottom of the seafloor and will continue to gather information. It has, of course, been a huge international response, everyone hoping to find these passengers alive. Unfortunately, that was not meant to be. Yeah, hoping for the past several days. Boy, your heart uh, just goes out to those families. Absolutely. Russ, thanks. One of the five people on board that sub has ties to the metro Atlanta area. Paul-Henri Nargelet was one of the leading experts on the Titanic. He was the director of the underwater research for the EM group, which is based in Peachtree Corners. He'd done about 37 dives to the Titanic, recovering about 5,000 artifacts from the wreckage. Retired from the French Navy, he also led the first recovery expedition of the Titanic back in 1987. This is a developing story. We will continue to bring you updates.